Kelowna, British Columbia is a town in hibernation for most of the winter, except during the first week of February. That's when a company of foodies arrive at the Delta Grand Okanagan Resort for the annual Canadian Culinary Championships, the finale of regional gold medal plates competition. Chefs from 11 Canadian cities test their skills to the limit in the Okanagan community. One will make Canadian culinary history. Atlantic Canada was represented this year by St. John's chef Mark McCrow of Aqua Kitchen and Bar and René Lavallée of the Canteen in Halifax. Chef McCrow's team included Aqua sous chefs Tara Nichols and Jason Hayek. Competitors were also assisted by students from Kelowna's Okanagan College. Judges from Vancouver to St. John spent hours assessing 33 competition plates in order to find a Canadian champion. Organizers organized. Kelowna foodies, media and guests took everything in, beginning with a mystery wine pairing. Each year, wine expert David Lorison delights in selecting a Canadian wine for the opening contest, a wine he feels will pose the greatest challenge when it comes to finding just the right food match. This year, it turned out to be an unusual BC wine, Stoneboat Vineyards Pinotage 2012. Competitors made dishes containing everything from farmed BC sturgeon to short ribs to pair with the Pinotage. The night was made more taxing by limiting the budget to $600 per chef, an amount that had to feed 500 guests. Ultimately, the public chose Chef McCrow's short ribs as the best wine pairing of the night. The penultimate black box challenge, famously regarded as the most difficult test, was next on the agenda. Each locked box contained 10 ingredients. Chefs were required to use at least six of them. 13 black box judges meant each chef had to produce 13 plates of the same dish. Creativity and consistency were important factors. This year's black box ingredients included Saskatchewan sea buckthorn berries, live Nova Scotia lobster and Muscovy duck. While some chefs chose to work with the Nova Scotia lobster, most opted for the duck. A few chefs chose both duck and lobster, such as Ryan O'Flynn of the Weston Edmonton. His was a beautifully designed plate starring butter poached lobster and sliced duck breast. Chef Renee Lavallee of Halifax was honor bound to choose live lobster from her home province. She created an uncomplicated yet elegant lunch-style lobster salad. Mark McCrow of Aqua offered judges something a little different. In his allotted 50 minutes, he and sous chef Tara Nichols worked with unified efficiency to create 13 plates of smoked Muscovy duck. Smoked in a makeshift smoker of available kitchen pans. The Canadian Culinary Championships ended with a gala fundraiser for Own the Podium, a program of the Canadian Olympic Foundation. It also served as the final heat of the National Chefs Competition. Here, all 11 chefs chose to present the dish with which they won gold in their home city. Mark McCrow literally raced to prepare his station before guests descended looking for a taste of his final dish. It was moose from the Newfoundland forest, served with jus and root vegetables. Before the handsome Canadian Culinary Championships Cup could be held high in victory by the 2015 champion, bronze and silver medalists had to be announced. Achieving bronze status was the well-known chef de cuisine of Hawksworth Restaurant in Vancouver. Christian Eli devised a sophisticated version of bread bowl seafood chowder. Montreal's affable Antonio Park of Restaurant Park presented an attractive deconstructed version of the Korean favorite bibimbap. It, along with Chef Park's other competition plates, earned him the national silver medal. Edmonton's final dish was a clever marriage of sturgeon fillet and foie gras. 
It was the last in a line of brilliant plates from Chef Ryan O'Flynn of the Weston Edmonton. The overall winner and newest champion of the Canadian Culinary Championships. Throughout the competition, O'Flynn had maintained an air of detachment, but as he stood on the champion's podium, he displayed the raw passion of one triumphant in battle. He clutched the champion's cup, kissed it, and howled the mighty howl of victor. Yeah! O'Flynn, the Weston Edmonton, and Alberta carried the day and now ride high until next February when another Canadian Culinary Championships winner is proclaimed.